everyone, Danielle here from A Sprinkle of Joy, and I wanted to show you today another tutorial with using your silhouette to create stickers. Um, this time we're going to be talking about how to cut an actual like shape out that you've done. So I wanted to really, what's going to happen is I'm going to take this that I made, it's a little um, watercolor cactus, and I am going to import it into my silhouette, and then I'm going to use that image to make little stickers which I am going to use with um, Annabelle and Autumn's, my two little girls, their Valentine's. So I'm going to show you how to go from this to this. So hopefully you will enjoy. Something you want to design. So I'm going to go over to file and open my image that I want to scan or that I want to cut out. So this is a cactus that I watercolored and then I scanned it and into my computer and now I've opened it up here in Silhouette Studio and I want to use this to create some Valentine stickers. So I want to cut this this image out of the cactus without all of the background in it. Because if you can see right now, like if I were to use this, it would have all of the background in it. So I am going to go over here to this knife tool. Then you want to come up to the top and you want to make sure that it says outline. And there's a drop down menu and you want to make sure that from the drop down menu curve is selected. And then I like to zoom in so I can get a little bit of a closer outline of my object. And all you're going to do is you're going to start at one point and click your mouse button and then just move and click it again until you kind of outline your whole shape of what you want to cut out. And instead of making you sit here while I do this whole thing. I will finish outlining this and then I will come back and show you what I do next. All right, so I'm back and I'm just finishing up here. Then you want to collect, connect your last two dots and then it will cut it out. And you can see that there is like a white line around it. So you want to go back up and click your arrow button so that you can put, hold this, your object, and then you can delete the outside, the other part of it. So now you have this little object that you did yourself and you can use it however you want. Now if that's all you wanted to know how to do, you can stop watching, but I figured I would show you kind of how I am making the stickers for um, my daughter's Valentine's. So I'm going to make this a little bit smaller, and I'm not really doing anything too crazy with these stickers, so what I decided to do was to use a little saying, because I want it, and I'm going to want it to say, let's stick together Valentine and then I want this to be centered so everything is nice and centered and then I want to also change the letter the outline you can see right now that it's red but I want that to be black because I'm going to be printing this first on my computer or with my printer I should say So I'm going to make this kind of small and I'm going to put it pretty close to the um, cactus here. So now I have my cactus and my words that I want and I'm going to group these together. Then the next thing you want is you want to create an outline around the cactus and around the words so that it becomes a sticker. So in order to do that, you're going to go over here to this little star looking thing. And you're going to click it and it's going to open up another window. And I'm going to have to end up screenshotting this because it does not work. Um, I cannot record with it. All right, so once you hit the star button here, this offset window will open up and you're gonna to wanna to hit the button that says offset and then you can change the distance which will make the outline either get bigger or smaller. So now, as you can see, this is all outlined 
and I'm gonna go back into my Silhouette Studio. Uh, all right, so I'm back here in my Silhouette Studio and I notice there's a little space here and I don't want that. So I am going to zoom in a little bit and use the knife tool. And what I found was easiest for here was just kind of doing that. And then you can come back and click the arrow button and just delete those spaces. So now nothing will cut there. So next, what I have done is I change the off the outline button, the outline here, to being orange. And then, so this orange, I will, when we send it to my silhouette, it will be the kiss cut. So it won't cut all the way through the sticker, the backing of the sticker paper. But I also want to make a sheet of stickers so that we can hand them out for Valentine's. So I'm going to come over here and I'm going to draw a rounded rectangle around the sticker. And then I am going to change this rectangle to being a blue color. So now I have, what's going to happen is when I send it to my silhouette, it's going to actually cut through the sticker paper and the backing so that each kid will get a square and on that square it will be the cactus. Now I'm going to hit the letter M on my keyboard so that I can get the registration marks so I know where I want to place my sticker. Now this is a really big sticker, I don't want it that big, so I'm going to make it smaller. And then I want to fill the page with this sticker. So I am going to come over here to this other side and there's this kind of like butterfly looking thing which is the replicate panel. And when you open it up, which once again I'm going to have to stop this for a second and I'm going to go to the um, screenshot. All right, so what you have over here is you can duplicate things, so it would just make a copy. Then it allows you to make more rows, or you can hit fill page. So I am going to hit the fill page button right here. Okay, so like I said, I'm going to hit the fill page button. And then when you do that, you can see that your page will be filled with the stickers. So now what you're going to want to do is print these um, from your printer. So you're just going to go to File and then Print. And what you'll get is you'll get the stickers and then these registration marks, which lets the um, silhouette know where on earth it's going to cut. So once you have that, make sure that you put your sticker sheet on your mat just as you see it on the screen here, because that way you won't get any um, cuts that are off. Right, so when I went to send my stickers over to my silhouette, I realized that one of the squares was black and I didn't want that, so I had to come back here and now, as you can see, each square around the cactuses are blue, which is really important for how we're going to tell our silhouette to cut. So once again, I'm going to come over here to my send menu and at the top, you'll see simple line and fill. Usually when you send something to cut with a silhouette, just simple is picked, so it'll look like this. But because we are going to do two separate cuts, we want to go over here and choose line, which will then allow you to cut depending on the line color, which is why I wanted to make sure the outline around the cactus and the outline the square were two separate colors. So I am going to start by doing the kiss cut. So as my silhouette thinks a little bit, you can see here that sticker paper is clicked, checked, cut, and then I have the auto blade. And I'm going to revert this to the standard settings that 
come with the sticker paper, which has always worked well. So this dial, the depth of the blade is set at 2, the force is 14, the speed is 8, and it goes one pass. So I am going to hit send, and it will send that through my silhouette. And then after, don't take your sticker sheet off, keep it on. Then you're going to come back here, uncheck, uncheck the orange, and then make sure that just the blue is checked this time. And once again, you want it to cut. But because we want to cut the sticker and the actual backing, I am going to move my blade depth up and I'm going to move my force up and I'm going to move my speed down a little. You might have to play with this setting for this. Then once again, you're going to hit send. Then after that's done, you will have um, a sheet of stickers that have squares cut out and then within each square, it'll have a kiss cut of a sticker. And I will show you that in just a second. All right, so after you have everything cut out, you will end up with a bunch of different stickers. So you can see that each one of them, the square, it cut all the way through the sticker paper and the backing, but that the sticker itself was that kiss cut, so it only cut through the sticker paper. And then you can add, add those to your valentines or do whatever you would like to do with them. Um, thanks for watching and I hope that you found this tutorial helpful. Uh, I also have a blog post with step-by-step -step pictures if that is more your cup of tea. And I will link the blog post in the description below. Yeah, I hope everyone has a great rest of your day or your night. And be sure to check back here later because I will be trying to do some more tutorials. Thanks again. Bye.